Now to developing news out of Calusa County. We are headed to a small town in Airbuckle, about 50 miles north of Sacramento. Pierce High School, located right off of I-5, is facing a lawsuit that contains allegations of racism toward black and Latino students. And ABC 10's Gabriel Porras spoke to the attorney who filed that lawsuit and has more on the story. Well, the lawsuit boils down to four allegations of violations of the United States Code, but in 22 pages, attorneys try to paint a picture of a culture of racism, discrimination, and negligence within Pierce Joint Unified School District. I was shocked, outraged, surprised. The initial reaction from Southern California-based attorney Brad Gage when he first heard the allegations from a 2024 graduate of Pierce Joint Union High School. The claims basically involve racial comments being made, including calling him the N-word. Allegations that happen multiple times over multiple years from ninth grade to 12th grade, according to the student. You've had teachers making comments. The school's aware of it. Nothing is done. It's tolerated. Teachers think it's funny. They laugh about it. Students make comments of a racial nature. Nothing happens to them. Meanwhile, black students are treated differently by the administration. At one point, Gage says the alleged behavior turned violent. But most shocking of all is one of the teachers who wound up physically assaulting him. According to the lawsuit, a teacher grabbed a student's head and slammed it onto a desk. We reached out to the Pierce Joint Unified School District. A spokesperson said there would be no comment due to the ongoing litigation. What led him to, to take this action now? Well, now that he's out of the school, the retaliation that the school can exert on him is lessened, of course. And the fact that he's 18, I think it's part of growing up and becoming a man when you realize that you can make a difference in this world and right the wrongs so that others don't suffer. And that's what Gage says the lawsuit is about. The student is asking for compensation for damages, legal expenses, and civil penalties. I'm hoping that others will come forward and contact us so that we can help everyone and we can help to change this culture that is unacceptable. In Arbuckle, Gabriel Porras, ABC 10. The lawsuit was filed about a month ago, which means it's currently in the discovery phase ahead of a trial or settlement.